Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. I am absolutely excited to be hooking up this Solar Converter. I actually have it powered up right now. Down here is a 48 volt leaf uh, battery pack. This is from bigbattery.com. If you guys really are interested in it, I'll throw a link in the description, but either way, that's not the point of this video. So I've been going through the manual. I'm powering the Solar uh, from these little cables here that go to that 48 volt battery. Uh, nothing too exciting, but the unit is powered up. Uh, you can kind of see through the glare, the screen is lit up and stuff. Uh, one thing that this thing definitely needs is a neutral to ground bond. It checks for that, so I have my meter lead here. Uh, temporarily, just for checking, uh, connecting neutral and ground. Now, we're in an off-grid situation, so what that means is the moment I shut down this inverter over here and get ready to install the Solark, it absolutely needs to be ready to go and prepared so that way I can get the power back on and not get stuck in a situation where now I don't have power because let's say I'm missing a part or something didn't work. So I, I've got it powered up and um, if you'll bear with me, if I touch the battery icon, you can see here somehow through the glare, uh, there is 120 volts coming out of this and uh, I was just checking everything. So I've got my Fluke 116 here. Um, if I go across the load pins here, you can see I've got 240 volts. And uh, if I switch up and go to ground, you'll see 120. And the other one is 120. So everything is working there. So I know as soon as uh, I get this installed, I don't have to freak out about uh, things not working. The other thing I was doing is going through the manual and configuring everything. I highlighted a few sections that are actually really interesting. So the first one here says, while the Solark 12K does not yet have official NEMA rating for outdoor use, you can install the system outside and the warranty will be honored, which is actually quite awesome. So this door here has a nice gasket. And uh, what that means is if it were installed outside, all these wiring uh, components would be protected from moisture. The only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is down here on the bottom, uh, you can kind of see light through these holes. And I would be concerned if you didn't use every single knockout, um, if this thing is actually uh, NEMA rated for outdoor use. I mean, they don't give an exact rating what they're going for, but if it's 3R, I guess that's okay because that's just like rain and a drip um, from above. So, I mean, it's it varies a lot. The other thing I have is uh, my wiring and cables. So over here, this is all uh, six gauge wiring. And essentially the wiring that goes to these inverters here, uh, it goes through some seal type back here and uh, goes into my wireway. So essentially I'm making uh, the plan because of the length of the seal tight, you can really see over here, it just goes into the back of the inverter. Um, my plan is to re-pull that wire because I don't want to have any splices in my wireway and uh, have a chance for failure in the future, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm planning on re-pulling the wire and I'm not sure if I want to keep any of these other inverters for now as a backup. Uh, just until the Solark has proven itself, even though I suspect it's going to outperform all of its expectations. Um, one thing I do want to show you guys that I already tested. So we did this test in the last video where I put my clamp meter on uh, amps DC and zeroed it out. And I showed you guys on this inverter. Keep in mind, it's still at zero, right? On this inverter, we've got 3.3 amps or so. And um, that's just idle draw there. I mean, let me turn off this breaker here and you'll see it's still, you know, 3.3 .3 amps. And uh, that's all idle. Now this thing is running and on this stats screen over here, it's showing, let's see, it's showing half an amp DC off the battery and calculates that out to 29 watts. And I can clamp on over here as well. Uh, let me make sure my meter is zeroed. Interesting enough, it's showing 1.3 amps, um, but I wonder if there's an AC component to that. So if I switch my meter over to amps AC, if it shows anything, which it doesn't, it's uh, 
it's a little off actually this is my first time doing this test so i wonder why the solarc is showing a different current than the clamp meter it's showing 0.57 amps so not sure what's going on there but once the system is in place i'm going to tie in with my plc cabinet i have some uh, cts up here and these are 100 amp to 200 amp cts you just change a little jumper on them and I'm going to put one on each leg out of the Solark, uh, as well as one on each leg of the generator. And then from there, I can use the PLC to measure how much current goes through my shunts. And from there, the PLC will spit out an efficiency calculation, uh, because it also knows the battery voltage, uh, simply because in this panel, there's a meter up here, and that's measuring battery voltage, and sending a 4 to 20 milliamp signal into this PLC that's networked actually that goes into there's in this cabinet two plcs um, there's a click plc that runs my generator and a productivity 1000 that actually is the main brain so all of the clicks just act as io and all of the calculations happen in the productivity so either way um, i'm going to be able to calculate on my display uh, what the efficiency of the inverter is and prove you know their numbers and stuff so that'll definitely be interesting and then, yeah, I, I'm squirreling around a little bit. Uh, the 4 op battery cable, I have my hydraulic crimper over here. And uh, I already did a test. And uh, with the 95 dies, it doesn't actually have the AWG um, ratings. But those were the ones proper for crimping this 4 op cable. And we're going to do a test. We're going to crimp a lug and then cut it. So stay tuned. That should be coming out in the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the rest of the process of installing this Solark. Um, but at this point, like I said, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is 100% good to go uh, before I shut the power down and go ahead and install it. Now, as far as mounting goes, this is called a French cleat. This is what the Solark comes with, and it kind of clips onto the back. And luckily enough, if I put it right here where this Fox power unit is, I don't know how well you guys can see, but the holes line up perfectly with the slots in the strut. And I, if I were to keep an inverter, it would be the Fox Power because this one has had a couple of issues. I've rebuilt it twice. So I probably would want to sell that or something. But either way, uh, I have this upside down. But this French cleat can mount on this strut right here. And then the Solar could uh, clip onto it and then hang down. The only problem is the mounting brackets on the bottom are a little bit different width than the French cleat, so the holes wouldn't line up quite right. So I could just run a piece of strut across the bottom or something like that. But either way, yeah, we're still in the planning stages, still getting everything totally figured out and dialed in. But yeah, like I was saying too, uh, I was reading the manual and highlighting quite a few different things, uh, like the generator support programming. Uh, I do need to use the CTs for the Solark, so that way I can... Uh, use the generator support type function um, another interesting thing the lcd must be in auto dim mode for the lcd to be covered by warranty i found that interesting um, they have a wi-fi dongle on the side and i do have that installed right there that's the thing with the red light but they also make an ethernet dongle which is probably what i'll end up uh, switching over to because i like hardwired connections and that was about it in the manual in terms of things that stood out to me um, you know, just, this is also talking about the limiter sensors, that kind of thing. So, um, definitely cool in this manual. And, uh, here again, it says NEMA type one, and then in parentheses, outdoor rating pending. So they're working on making an outdoor model. Uh, as you can see, this manual says outdoor. So definitely interesting. So be sure to subscribe for the next videos. And, uh, if you found this interesting, comment below what you thought was the most interesting, uh, I've been enjoying reading your guys' comments. I read every single one of them. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Later.